So, so it wasn't so much of the actual skills. It was like you said, you were thinking about how how uncomfortable that situation is gonna be, but then you were still able to uh, motivate yourself. Yeah. To do that. So, would you say um, how much would you say uh, the importance of of uh, like mentally getting over these things than skill wise did, did skills kind of come through practice and then mental skills it was like you needed to get over them or you couldn't do the tricks for sure the mental aspect was the hardest because there's there's a lot of writers that don't still this day that don't don't go to a certain area of snowboarding because they are not comfortable there and they stick with the one and they get really really good at that one area and never expand their whole snowboarding how they view it and I, mentally it was way harder for sure because now it was learning like everything else like I've learned all those little tricks in the park when I was a kid in Finland and it comes naturally when you just keep practicing it and it's the same thing with backcountry too but just for me actually making myself going there and putting the time into it was the hardest part. Mm. What is the biggest mistake uh, whether in your career or um, in your right writing that um like what's the biggest mistake that you've done that you would maybe tell a younger self of you not to do that um that you've learned from or because it took me a while I was still holding my back and didn't want to I didn't want to go to places where I knew I was going to be uncomfortable I was always trying to avoid those till the last point but through somebody or through my friends or my boss or whoever that motivated me to go to Worcester and actually f- facing my fears I shouldn't have waited that long. I should have just gone there and known that I can get over those and not just avoid going there. Like if you know something that you're uncomfortable with, just keep putting it aside and I'll get there at some point. Hmm. Hopefully you never get there. Hmm. And I would have probably waited a little less. I'd probably be better now if I just went straight at it. But it's easier said than done, you know? What about if you think about your career and, and your snowboarding, What's the um like a personal quality that uh that you think was helpful for you getting where uh where you are today? What's been a, like a paramount thing that's helped you get to get to that level? I think you have to have a skill. Cause obviously some like you have to have a skill of being able to imagine stuff in your head. Like it somebody said that you do the trick 20 times mentally in your head and it's almost like trying it 20 times instead of really trying it. And I think that's totally correct. Uh, I being on a certain spot trying to do a certain trick 300 times and not being able to get it. And I'm like, oh my God, I kept doing the exact same thing over and over and over again. But then me maybe stepping away from it for two days and coming back and I was able to do the trick in 15 tries or so. And it's just one of those things that you need to be how would I say, be able to picture, picture all that, the little processes going to the trick mentally and seeing those things and where, like, let's say I uh, aimed my, doing a rail, I aimed a little bit too much on the left side mm. and you could do it a hundred times in a row and always be on the left side, left side, left side, left side until you really realize like, oh God, like I need to step away from the jump, move this or maybe draw a line and go from here and maybe then the trick will work out how you're visualizing the whole thing. Mm. And just maybe being it, one of those skills that some people can visualize stuff better than others. And some people have a really hard time doing it. Some people just want to do it. Like, I just want to do it. Just do it, do it, do it. And then that's how you end up trying the trick for 300 times and nothing happens. Hmm. So visualizing is a skill and you can practice it and, and get better at it. And, and you've all obviously gotten good at it. Let's mm. say when all those new double flips came into the picture, it's not one of those things that you can just do it little by little. It's that, that big of a trick that you have to go big right when you do it. Mm. And I pictured the thing like a couple of weeks before I did it. And I knew it was a part of one trick that I already knew. Actually, two different tricks that I already knew put together into a one. And I just kept picturing both of those feelings, doing the first one and the second one, and them combined. And did it over for two weeks before I tried it. And then when I went and did it, it went just to how I pictured it the first try. I landed on my board. I'm like, oh my God, this is unbelievable. Like, I can't believe that it was that easy. 
And I don't know if I think I I'm pretty sure the mind process helped the whole thing a lot of just thinking it instead of just going for it and throwing and see what happens. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I mean that's crazy and and like you were saying, you already used what you'd known before and the feeling that you got from him and then I mean this is a strategy for him how he uses um his mind creatively to combine these things and he understands how you need to feel a certain way to get the trick right and then he combined them combine them and then uh combine the feeling into that thing and then landed on his board the first try which is i mean crazy yeah. considering the difficulty of the trick what are your goals for this season uh kind of the same as uh last season i've had a lot of seasons in my life that been really stressful and more some seasons more stressful than the others and for the past two seasons i've had the most relaxed seasons and had the most fun in snowboarding and i think it's shown in a good way in my in my video parts what i've been filming for as well and you can see that i'm enjoying myself and it's a fun to work when you're actually having a good time while you're doing it so just do the things you want to do you know i already know the goals i need to achieve so get your job done but try to enjoy while you're doing it very cool what's the uh, what's the uh farewell advice that you would or words of encouragement that you would give to um to young athletes or, or even professional athletes or well, let's just say younger people who want to get better and maybe want to be pro one day or just want to get be the best that they can and be more confident what would be um the advice that you would give in snowboarding at least for me is to find the way what motivates you to do the sport some people so for some people it's getting contest results and doing all this stuff but, but for me kind of knowing yourself what you want if you're doing your work for somebody else like for your dad or your coach or something all those people that have started like that already quit their job so you have to kind of know what you want and what snowboarding gives you and for me it's just enjoying myself and having fun and me wanting to get better and just kind of like doing those things when i was a kid i just want to learn all the tricks and now and have fun with it and i had fun with it and at some point my job turned into a more serious and kind of put a lot of pressure on myself and stress and i found myself when i wasn't enjoying it kind of avoiding going to snowboarding too obviously i went but kind of not in the same uh same way I did before and now I found the fun in snowboarding again and I really enjoy what I do and when you have fun on it I get better results as well but kind of maybe that's just knowing yourself and what motivates you and stick with that hmm. I don't know if that made any sense that oh. made a perfect sense so yeah um, usually when when you're relaxed that's with it's when we're trying something really hard that's when we kind of get locked down and when we l relax and let go that's when we're actually giving our mind more uh freedom and more room to uh, to perform better so um yeah it makes a lot of sense so have fun and then enjoy riding and you'll learn more and that's how kids learn too is is they're just having fun and playing and they learn so fast so yeah i see when you find yourself getting frustrated trying something and not getting it then you just kind of quit you want to get away from the uncomfortable situation but if you keep stay relaxed and okay it's okay to suck at something but just if you it's easier for me to practice things that i suck at if i'm like it's, it's fine i'm not the best at everything and then it's easy to learn to do that bad thing good but if you think that you have to be good at everything and be so hard on yourself then those people normally quit and they don't want to do the things that they don't like mm cool man uh thanks for uh thanks for joining me and uh and sharing your your expertise and time and wisdom uh, it was a pleasure talking with you thanks no worries nice to be in the nice studio here <laughs> <laughs> the home studio um thanks uh tune up for the for some new stuff and uh check my uh website and blog you'll find the information below and uh um yeah Come back and, and leave your comments and, and leave your likes if you like this stuff and want more of it. Cool. Peace out.